Facebook jail, Instagram jail, whatever you people call it on social media, it's no different than throwing any other person in jail. It's no different. It's no different. You're doing the same exact thing. Okay, look what you did. These people do to Fred Hampton. You know, first they started jailing him for speaking up, trying to create a movement and bring people together. And then, you know, they realize that you cannot jail a brother or a sister because one of them's either going to become famous out of it or become an author, whatever the best-selling author. I already talked about it in my post, okay? And so what people do is, you know, what you end up, what did they end up doing to Fred Hampton? They ended up murdering him. They murdered him because they said, well, these people keep breaking out of the jail cell, come, becoming bigger and better. And it is just the way divine justice works. Okay, our enemies, they're trying to silence us. But the thing is, is that God, the power of God is always with us. Honey, that's watching this. There is a divine force always protecting us and guiding us. That is the, the part when the truth stands by us. When you are standing by your truth, you're standing by the will of God, which is the truth. You have to understand that your enemy gets it back tenfold. Okay? So I'm just making this video to remind you folks that if you ever been in Facebook jail, TikTok jail, I don't know what the hell it is that they do it, okay? It's not any different than being thrown in a physical jail cell, okay? It's not no different, okay? They want to silence people and try to just jab them at every angle. But let me tell you, it's not going to work. It hasn't. Because, let me tell you, there is some shit going on and there's things coming out. And so at some point, you people got to take responsibility. The shit that you're doing behind the curtain, Mr. Wizard of Oz or Mrs., all of you got to take responsibility, okay? Because a lot of y'all, you're going to have to be baby during the election, whatever it is that's going to be happening. There's going to be a lot of shit that's going to be heavily monitored. And you're not going to be able to do shit about it. You're not going to. And you're not going to get your way anymore. So it's like, like I said, folks, it's no different than showing up, throwing us in a physical jail cell. You're just going to throw us in a cage and say, hey, shut up. Shut up. You're speaking up too much. Okay? And what do they do to Fred Hampton? They assassinate him to tell him basically shut up. Okay? Just so that way you avoid accountability for, your, for their actions. And another thing, too, is if they can't do shit, what they'll do is they'll blame you. They'll blame you for why life and all these other things are wrong. And they'll even blame you with other shit. People, y'all know. Y'all know what they'll do. They'll use um, anything against you. And they'll do anything to divide the planet and divide each other. But the thing is, is that the strongest thing is unity. The strongest thing is unity, brothers and sisters. So, you know, I'm making this video... Um, this live to tell you folks that I love you, but the thing is, is that the truth is way stronger, okay? Um, the devil will try to make its way into your life. They'll try to throw you in a fucking jail. Like I said, it's no fucking different what your folks are doing. Throwing Fred Hampton and all these other people in jail for speaking up. Facebook jail and all these other things is no different than trying to put them in a physical prison, alright? Have a nice day.